Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. After watching the first part here is the second part of Brianna disappearances over the years, official searches have seen divers search a Berkshire pond, and police have scoured local wooded areas and the space around Hutchins Bridge with cadaver dogs. A court inquest also occurred and officers with the Border Patrol utilized the helicopter to help cover more land. Overall, the searches, involved officers from three states and members of Texas Equus Search. Brianna's friends and family conducted their own searches of the area and put up missing persons flyers across Vermont and surrounding states. Her parents took matters into their own hands, following leads across Vermont, New York, Quebec and Connecticut. They even went to a strip club in Boston after receiving a call that, Brianna was seen there, but it turned out to be a case of mistaken identity. A month into the investigation, Bruce sent a letter to Vermont Governor James Douglas, stating that he felt the search had not been aggressive enough and that police were keeping him and Kelly in the dark over its progress. In May 2004, the Maitland teamed up with the parents of Maura Murray, a woman who'd went missing, in Haverhill, New Hampshire in February 2004, and those of Amy Riley a 20-year-old New Hampshire woman whose murdered body had been found in April of that year, to plead for help from both public and federal authorities. At the time, it was believed the three cases were connected and thus the families wanted the FBI to become involved, since they crossed state lines. On February 17, 2006, there was an alleged sighting of Brianna at the Caesars World Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Grainy surveillance footage showed a woman resembling the missing girl sitting at a poker table with a bald man. Unfortunately, the woman has never been identified, but Kelly maintains that she sees a strong resemblance between her and Brianna. During a search of a remote wooded area of Montgomery in, October 2007, a pair of weathered blue jeans were located. The area, which was approximately seven miles from where Brianna went missing, had not been searched previously. The jeans were sent to the state forensics lab to be analyzed but the results of the tests have not been publicly released. To help with the search for their missing daughter, Bruce and Kelly hired private investigator, Greg, Overacker. The family has received several uncorroborated anonymous phone calls from people claiming that Brianna had been tied to a tree in the woods and her body disposed of at the bottom of a lake. In 2008, an expanded review of the investigation was conducted and a team was created that would solely be dedicated to the case. This meant that a more aggressive approach could be taken, and more interviews were conducted, some with those who had already been spoken to by investigators. In 2010, the Vermont State Police Search and Rescue Team, along with a K-9 unit, K-9 
conducted a search of Prive Hill Road in Richford, but nothing new was uncovered. In March 2016, the information about the DNA discovered in Brianna's vehicle was made public. However, the test's results were not released. Over, four years later, in September 2020, the Vermont State Police Major Crime Unit teamed up with Othrom Incorporated to re-examine the evidence. Othrom Incorporated is the world's first private DNA laboratory built to apply modern parallel sequencing with forensic evidence. Currently, the Vermont State Police are offering a reward of up to $5,000 for information leading to a resolution to the case and or the arrest, and conviction of those responsible. They say the investigation is still active, but that no clear suspect has been uncovered. Hundreds of people have been interviewed in relation to the case, and it's said that new tips are still called in a few times a month. Some theories are first the strongest theory in the case is that Brianna's disappearance was drug-related, this because it's there authorities strongest lead. According to reports, drugs are very prominent in the Montgomery area, and Brianna's friends have said that she'd experimented with hard drugs, particularly cocaine. This has led some to speculate if she could have been killed over a drug debt and her body hidden to hide the crime. It should be noted that investigators have not been able to substantiate this theory, and her parents maintain she was not seriously involved in the scene, this despite them finding out about her friendships with supposed drug users and dealers. In the week following her disappearance, police received a tip stating that Brianna was being held in a house in Berkshire known to be occupied by drug dealers she was acquainted with, Ramon L. Ryans and Nathaniel Charles Jackson, both of New York. On April 15, 2004, the house was raided and police uncovered cocaine, weed and drug paraphernalia but no trace of Brianna. At this time, Ryans was arrested on drug charges. In late 2004, investigators received another tip, this time from an anonymous female, that implicated both Ryans and Jackson in Brianna's murder. The unknown woman stated that the pair had killed Brianna the week, after her disappearance after Ryan's and her argued over money she'd lent him to purchase cocaine. After she was killed, the woman claims Brianna's body was temporarily stored in the basement of another woman's home, before being dismembered with a table saw and disposed of at a pig farm. Police have been unable to corroborate the validity of this statement. Second another theory in the case is, that Brianna simply left of her own accord. According to friends and those who knew her, the young woman had mentioned plans of a short trip out of the area. This, paired with her history of running away, have led some to speculate she simply decided to move somewhere new and start over. However, Police have been unable to uncover any evidence to indicate she left voluntarily. Third theory is that, Brianna was abducted by several people. Her parents have speculated that this would have to be the case, as a single person would not be able to subdue their daughter, given her martial arts training. They believe someone may have spotted her became obsessed and hid in her backseat, before attacking her while she drove home from the Black Lantern Inn. Fourth a popular theory is that Brianna's disappearance is related to that of Maura Murray, this given that Haverhill, 
New Hampshire, where Mora was last seen, is only 90 miles from Montgomery. FBI agents met with local authorities to discuss the possible links between the two cases, including the fact that both had gone missing after a car accident, they both left their belongings behind, and that they were both young, attractive, brown-haired women. However, it was eventually concluded that, despite the similarities, the cases were likely not connected. It should be noted that this theory has not been entirely ruled out. Final theory that was eventually ruled out by the FBI is that Brianna was a victim of Alaskan serial killer, Israel Keys. In 2012, investigators investigated a possible connection between Keys and Brianna as he was known to have committed his crimes in Vermont, New York, Alaska, Washington and Oregon. However, his financial records showed he was elsewhere on the day Brianna went missing. On December 2, 2012, Keyes died by suicide while incarcerated at the Anchorage Correctional Complex the result of self-inflicted wrist cuts and strangulation. While he left a suicide note, it didn't offer any clues to additional victims of his crimes. In 2004, her parents organized a now-defunct website with a posted maximum reward of $20,000 for information leading to Brianna's whereabouts. As of 2017, the reward has since expired. Two Facebook pages have been set up to help raise awareness about the case. Her parents set up Brianna Maitland Missing, family page, which has not been updated since, mid-2019. The other, titled Brianna Maitland, is still actively updated. Brianna's case was part of Project Jason's 18 Wheel Angel campaign, which targeted truck drivers and business travelers to volunteer their resources and time to help spread the word about missing persons cases via printable flyers. There are vigils held every year on the anniversary of Brianna's disappearance where her family and members of the community come together to bring about renewed awareness about the investigation. Brianna's parents have since separated, with Kelly now residing in New York, wanting to make something good out of his daughter's disappearance. Bruce created private investigations for the missing a non-profit dedicated to providing private investigators to those who are unable to afford them. There is an active GoFundMe page where supporters can donate to the organization. In July 2016, the old Dutch burn house was destroyed in a fire. Brianna's case has received widespread media attention. Along with being the subject of numerous podcasts, and these is the last part of Brianna Maitland's disappearance story.